When you knew, the two of you had been dating for a few months now and you were both in the same class. You noticed that Kenma wasn't at school today, so you texted him. It turns out he was homesick. After school, you hurried to his house, bringing him the notes for today, some water, and some food. You opened the door to see a sick Kenma, and your need to take care of him just go through the roof. You get him to bed and put a wet towel on his head as you head to the kitchen to make him some soup. He thinks it's delicious, by the way. You tell him that you'll stay with him until he falls asleep. He tells you that you should keep your distance so you don't get sick, but you don't care. You respond saying, well, if I get sick taking care of my boyfriend, it's fine. I mean, I don't like seeing you sick, so I'm here to make sure you recover quickly, okay? With a smile on your face. That's when he knew. But please, give this boy some time. Kenma's more introverted and doesn't express his feeling too often, so it'd be more susceptible at first. Like, he tried to hold your hand more or spend more time with you. It's like he's opening up to you. It's all in the small things. He's very observant and he remembers things about you that I think you don't even remember yourself. Like, he sees you having a small allergic reaction to a bee sting and now every time he sees a bee around you, he'll sweat it away. He's more of an action over word kind of guy, so you probably know before he says it. But when he says it, it's straightforward and most likely out of nowhere. You would probably be at his house, he'd probably be gaming, and you would watch him play. You'd be sitting on his bed, and he'd be on the floor playing. You'd probably play with his hair too. But after some time, you would go get him some water and food, because it doesn't seem like he's going to move for a while. You walk back into Kenma's room with a glass of water and some apple slice and you set it down next to him before going back and sitting on the bed. He notices and picks up the glass of water. Thanks. Love you. And then he takes a sip from the glass, not letting his eyes leave the screen. Uh, did you... did you just say... You quietly asked him. He pauses his game and looks back at you, confused. Mm. I mean, I guess I did. I do love you. And you lean closer toward the edge of the bed and push his hair out of his face. <laughs> I mean, I love you too. You say quietly before pressing a small kiss to his lips. It gives you a smile before eating an apple slice and going back to his game. You are an absolutely smiley mess afterward. He doesn't really say I love you often. If he does, it's usually before a big event or a competition or after you said I love you to him. Actions speak louder than words for him, so he's more likely to show you that he loves you. He'll still do his best to open up and be expressive towards you, but it's more in gesture rather than words. His love language is for sure quality time. It doesn't matter what you're doing or what he's doing. Boy just loves being in your company. He'll go out with other people just because he knows that he'll get to spend time with you. Silence between the two of you is never awkward. He doesn't really like it when you leave either. He's kind of a clingy in that way. Normally, when you leave him, it called you after. And when you call the two of you, you would cut for hours. He just loves you being somewhere near him, whether it's on the phone or in person. I'm gonna be the one to